Okay, I'm recording whenever you're ready. I started playing guitar at the age of about three or four. It's always been my kind of secondary passion behind football. My earliest memories of music are my, you know, comes from my mom listening to artists like Nick Cave and uh, Tom Waits. I saw Flume in a bar called Broadcast in front of about 15 people for a fiver. I always had guitar lessons, played in bands and ensembles, and it was mainly through the influence of my parents originally, and then I kind of, my own passion for it grew from there. I spent something that's always play, plays a major influence in my life, and I feel definitely helps me on the pitch as well, and uh, your mind kind of needs to be fed, I think, in that way, and that's my way of doing so, is mainly through playing and listening to, to music. Something that, that has plays a massive part in my life, whether I'm listening to music, playing music, or out seeing it live. I think certain um, genres and certain arts inspire certain moods first concert, which was Good Charlotte. I messed around in a lot of different kinds of bands. I played in some heavier kind of metal hardcore bands and post-hardcore kind of different experimentally kind of bands as well. And I liked to play all different types of music because I've always you know, loved different music across all genres. First album I remember going out and buying with my own money was The Offspring Americana. It was something I kind of got interested in, kind of in my later teens, and when you can uh, feel it, touch it, smell it, it just it gives it a different vibe altogether and um, something about, you know, not scrolling through a phone or, you know, up and down a screen, but to be able to flick through, that's something that um, I really love about listening to vinyl and listening to records. Yeah, classic Prince controversy. Lou Reed Transformer. That's the cover I've got on my arm. <laughs> Original pirate material by the streets, which is an absolute essential to have. My favorite album cover, in terms of like iconic Velvet Underground and Nico, like that's probably one of my favorite album covers. Of a more recent time, I really love the cover of uh, Childish Gambino, Father John Misty. Most aesthetically pleasing records, that's for sure. A few different ones in there when you need to escape from football in that way. I listen to a lot of um, kind of art and indie pop as well and psychedelic uh, bands like Tame Impala and that kind of other, they have that otherworldly kind of sound. That, that's a, definitely a genre I like to listen to when you really want to kind of get out of that, that football world. Something I know I'll always have in my life and can go back to and carry on doing so probably throughout my playing days and, and long after.